the stun centimeters. Whereas here, this is two centimeters. And and here is ten turns. The solenoid has n little n, which is the number of turns per meter of one thousand turns per meter. The current in the solenoid varies as 5 amperes sine 120 pi t. Find the induced EMF in the 10 turn coin. Okay. So, this is a problem that can be solved using Faraday's law. We have the Induced EMF E in the coil, 10 turn coil, is minus N number of turns, which is 10, minus N, D phi by DT, where, where this is a rate of change of flux in one turn. So we have to find phi. How does phi change with time, the flux, magnetic flux? Now, the flux, the flux means there's a magnetic field. Where is the magnetic field? The magnetic field is inside the solenoid. The solenoid has a current I. It has number of turns per meter N. So the magnetic field inside the solenoid, magnetic field V is mu zero N I. Mu zero N I. That's the magnetic field inside the solenoid. So what is the flux phi flux through each turn of the coil? It's a magnetic field B times the area. But which area? Now, the mistake would be to take the area of the coil itself. But that's not true, because there's no magnetic field outside the solenoid. So it's only the part of the area, the area of the coil, is only this part of the area of the coil, which is inside the solenoid, where there's, an elect where there's a magnetic field. Outside, the magnetic field is zero. So the flux, the flux is B times the area here, the cross-section area of the solenoid. That's a flux. There's no flux here. There's no flux here. So the flux is B, which is this, times the cross-section area of the solenoid, which is pi times the radius of the solenoid square. Radius of the solenoid square. So it's 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, like, and 1,000. I, which is 5, times sine 120 pi t, that's I, pi, that's pi, and R of the solenoid. The radius of the solenoid is 2 centimeters. That's the radius. Square, 2 is square is 4, but the centimeter is 10 to the minus 2 meter. So that's 4 times 10 to the minus 4. This is phi. Now, all these are just numbers, constants. So, I'll, I want to do the calculation. I'll just put some number, A sine 120 phi t. This is the magnetic flux through the one turn of the coil. 
Now we have n ten turns, so the induced EMF is minus n times the derivative of this. The derivative of this is a, and the derivative of sine is cosine. But you get 120 pi, so you get 120 pi times cosine 120 pi t. This is the induced EMF in the 10 turn coil. So the, the only issue here is just to be careful is that is that you're looking at the flux through the big coil, but the magnetic field exists only inside the solenoid. And it's, it's constant, but it's inside the solenoid. So the, the flux is not the magnetic field times the area of the coil, but it's the flux, it's the magnetic field times the area of a turn of the solenoid, because that's where B is non-zero. And finally, 